So guys, what's going on? It's Curtis MJ back in a brand new video on this channel for another match day vlog of Swansea City where we face Stoke City. Now Stoke City, usually we don't do particularly well against them these days. I mean, they couldn't beat us last season, but still just staying, still just saying them Stoke City, we don't often do well against them these days. They haven't had a too shabby of a start either half a season. They've done pretty well, I think. And also they had a really big win on Wednesday night against Portsmouth where they battered them 6-1. Tom Cannon with a hat trick, and we need to be really careful of him today. And also for us, we were very unfortunate on Wednesday night against Sheffield United. A Josh timing on goal, he had an absolute stink of that game. And I think um, obviously Luke Williams made a couple of changes, which is obviously needed midweek, and I expect more changes to be made today. Bian Sheedy did well when he came on as well, as so I'd start him today personally. Gone, Charles Franco was an unknown sub, so. I expect him to be back in the team today. I mean, Miles Partharis, how did he miss that chance against Sheffield United as well? We could have easily snatched the point. I think we should have looked to have snatched the point on, wasn't I, based on how both teams played, but they should have capitalised on a couple of mistakes, Sheffield United as well. See, Josh Timon made another mistake. They hit the crossbar. Keith Moore hit the post them as well. So, yeah, I mean, we're lucky that they weren't clinical enough, but they only beat us by an own goal. I mean, Sheffield United, I wasn't really expecting anything against them anyway, to be honest with you, especially on paper, but... Hopefully now we respond to that loss at Sheffield United and maintain our unbeaten home run in league this season with a win going into the October international break. OK, so we're inside the stadium now. The team is out. Two changes from the Sheffield United defeat where um, Zan Vipotnik comes in for Miles Partharis and Goncalo Franco comes in for Jay Fulton. Josh Tymon, despite his stinker, keeps his place at left-back. Hopefully his head is up now and hopefully he can respond to his um, disaster class against um, Sheffield United. Obviously, you know what I mean, don't you? But head up, Josh. Hopefully you can respond to that today. Get by against a goal contribution or put in a good game at least. But other than that, in goal, Lawrence Viguru, right back, Josh Key. Centre back, Ben Cabango, Harry Darling, left back, Josh Tyman. Defensive midfielders are Mac Ryan and Gonchal Franco. Tackle midfielder, Ollie Cooper. Right mid, Ronald. Left mid, Yonji Sung. And strikers, Andrew Potnick. Liam Cullen comes back to squad as well on the bench after recovering from an illness and also my mate um, Bradley has asked me to give him a shout out to obviously shame he's a Cardiff fan but Google it but Bradley is his channel and make sure you subscribe to him so yeah obviously Stoke City won't be an easy game of course but hopefully we can respond to that defeat at Sheffield United keep our unbeaten home run going and yeah let's see what happens come on Swans <laughs> In from the other way this time, where we play in the second half normally. It's going to feel weird, that's going to feel like the second half, but oh well, there we go. And we're underway. So we're just on the half hour mark, still Swansea no Stoke City. No, it's been a bit of an end to end game so far, I say. Both teams have been busy. Ronald had a big chance, which was well saved by Victor Johansson, who's just had a bit of treatment now. Also, Lawrence Vigoru made a very good save as well later on after the run of chance. I mean, we've had some chances, Stoke had some chances. Been a very even game so far, as far as I'm aware. So it's half time at Swansea Dockham Stadium, Swansea City nil, Stoke City nil. I think we've been pretty much the better team just about. We've had some better chances. Ronald, he's had a good game so far. He's been looking very sharp. But one thing about him is his end product. He's lacking a bit of end product and finishing. I felt like he should have buried some chances away. Yonji Sung, his first goal club is definitely coming anytime soon. He was so unfortunate right at the end there where he hit the bar. The Potnik, I felt like he should have done a little bit better, better with a header, but Stoke have had a fair few chances themselves as well. So I think it's been a little bit even, but I would also say that we've been the better team as well in terms of um, chances that we really need to be taking these chances, otherwise they'll come back to bite us. Because, you know, if you don't take your chances, you're going to end up getting punished, which is my fear in this second half. And hopefully we can keep this up, and this time, hopefully we can keep this up, and this time take our chances. Oh, oh no! Oh, Mossy Tune, you should have left that. Manhove. Oh, 
Kabango, you should have left that one there. Oh. Something's going to happen later on, I reckon, but Stoke, they could have easily scored early in the second half as well. Tom Cannon missing a one-on-one -on -one loss. Vigor, who did very well to deny him there. But, yeah, corner cool Stoke City, I think. Next goal wins for me. Leicester with Dramatic Amsberg. Manhoof set to deliver in a corner. I really don't understand why Cabango didn't leave that. Because he's clearly going wide. Oh, did well there to be fair. Bon Bianchini get it out. Right, so we're in injury time now. And nine additional minutes being added on. And at the minute we're giving away so many corners. The more corners we give away, the more trouble we're going to ask for. We need to stop asking for trouble at this moment in time. Can't end like this. But Vigadal is set to bring in a corner for Stoke City. They've had so many corners the past few minutes. Oh, big adult back in. Yes, darling. Come on, out. Oh, what are we doing? Come on. Come on, Partharis. Come on. You... Oh, what are we doing at the back again? Oh, come on, lads. Wake up. Stoke looking the more likely here in a minute. Another closing stages of the game. I thought that one was in then. And it's yet another call of Stoke City. And the subs again have changed the game, I say. I mean, for both teams, the subs have changed it. Played so well throughout most of the games until the substitutions where we've all of a sudden gone to sleep. Manho brings in a corner. Talk to each other and communicate. Go on, Bianchini, get it out! Out! Get it out! Stop messing around, come on! All right. Oh, last chance here, lads. Go on. Yes! Oh, it's offside, and it should be the game now. There we go. So there we are, guys. It is finished. Swan City nil, Stoke City nil. Gotta say, we controlled the game the first like 67 minutes, but then when the subs were introduced to both teams, it changed the game completely. It's the same old story. Like, we play well, but then when the subs are introduced, it changes the whole game completely. It, it's really got to stop now. Luke Williams needs to learn about how he uses substitutions. Like, for example, Azim Abdullah is a defensive midfielder, he's not a winger, and he keeps bringing Yomji Sung off for him. Like, why? I think Yomji Sung and Ronald should be kept on. They both had really good games, say Ronald, it's just um and Yomji Sung, but it's um it's just the end product. I mean Yomji Sung was very unfortunate first off not to get his first one to go. I can definitely see him getting a Swansea goal very soon. Ronald he, I felt like he should have buried a few chances away, and Tom Cannon should have buried a chance for Stoke City as well. It could have easily been two all. I mean we could have easily won that game based on the first sixty seven minutes, but then in the last moments of the game, Stoke could have won it in the end easily as well. So Yeah. It's just, it's just the same old story in a minute. But the bright side is that we're still unbeaten at home in the league so far this season. And hopefully we can keep that run going after the international break. But winless and free, though, at least it's not three losses or two losses, just the one loss, which was against Sheffield United, who are a big name in the championship and a team who you don't expect to get a point against these days or a um, three points. But... Yeah, to be honest with you, um, 11th in the league, I can't complain where we are now at the minute, but I think January we are going to need a bit of investing in terms of like um, subs and um, on squad depth. Like um, We're looking much better in the attacking, and I think we might need a, another attack or two in January, well, definitely another striker. So, yeah, a bit more work needs to be done, but it's got to change now, the way that Luke Williams uses subs. But if you want to see more content, make sure you like, Subscribe to the notifications and yeah, see you soon. Peace.